can hear it in my accent when I talk. I'm an Englishman in New York. You see me walking down Fifth Avenue. A walking cane here at my side. I take it everywhere I walk. I'm an Englishman. Takes a man to suffer ignorance and smile. Be yourself, no matter what they say. Whoa, I'm an alien. I'm an alien. I'm an Englishman in New York. Whoa, I'm an alien. I'm an alien. I'm an Englishman in New York. Modesty and pride can lead to no direct. Takes more than combat gear to make a man Takes more than a license for a gun Confront your enemies, avoid them when you can A gentleman will look but never run If manners maketh man, as someone said He's the hero of the day It takes a man to suffer ignorance and smile be yourself, no matter what they say Be yourself, no matter what they say Be yourself, no matter what they say That was Englishman in New York by Sting, and I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Youth Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. In just a moment, I'll do a basic tutorial covering everything I just played, and at the very end, I'll do a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you want hundreds more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along, then check out our Dropbox and then come along and play with us. Or come out and play with us. <laughs> okay, now, uh, almost all of this song is four chords, or even three if you wanted to skip the A minor seven, but D minor, G, A minor pick it up for the A minor 7. Now, I am doing this in kind of an odd way. I, I'm going to show you, uh, I, I use an arpeggio and a strum, but first I'm going to show you how I did the this chord transition. Now, you can do a standard G, right? D minor, G, D minor, okay? I liked hearing this, that bass line. 
So I did a second position G, a closed G. But that made it hard to get from here to here quickly. So here's how I did that. I played a weird D minor. I mean, it's a normal D minor, but instead of using your strong fingers like this, I used it like this. Because from that, I could easily slide up. These two fingers now are already in the right place for me to slide up two frets, drop my index finger, and I have that closed G. See there? And then I slide back down again so that this finger, my ring finger, is really the controlling factor. So... And that is most of the song, right there. <laughs> That's it. The bridge is the only exception to that. Now, as far as the the arpeggio, if you want to call it that, I mean, arpeggio is usually a lot more elaborate than this. All this is, is I've got, I don't need my pinky because I only have four strings. I got one finger on each string. And yes, this sounds best with a low G, but it'll sound really nice with a, a high G ukulele too. But so I've got a pluck, and then I pluck the other three strings. And that's it. So here it is. Pluck with my thumb, and then all three of the others. That's it for the verses. That's all. But then when I go into the chorus, and it was the same for the bridge and the, uh, the interlude, the first part of the interlude, um, same left hand, same chords, but here's I'm doing, I'm doing a backbeat strum. Backbeat meaning the emphasis is on the back, it's on the second half, it's on the second down. So, that's where the emphasis is here, one, two, three, four, one, Actually, just do down strums if you wanted to. But I was filling in on the end. That is to say, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. That's it. Okay, now the only things I have left are the bridge and the interlude. So the bridge comes right after the chorus. You've just done that. same strum, but now I'm going to a C. First C in the song. So the way I'm doing it, I'm I'm going from, I had a had an A minor and I picked it up, but I'm going to drop my ring finger on the C because that's my normal C finger. That's it. Just because I have no reason to do anything other than that. So and then it's just going to move over one string to drop that G. Could lead to no two now, the E is the hardest chord in the song. Uh, some people would say that second position G, but I'll say the E. But if you put your middle finger on the A minor, see normally from a G, A minor, you just move a finger over and you've got the A minor, right? But here, if instead you put your middle finger on it, you could end up as the only one. Now, it's already stuck to the right string. You just slide up and drop that E. It ends up being an easier transition from here to here if you are using this finger, right? And then it slides back down to the F. Gentleness, sobriety. And you can do a, a regular G if you want, but I like doing it this way because then it's going to stay up there and go uh, smoothly into that E. But so from F, sobriety. Where was I? I was here, yeah. A rare, and from that F to that G, yes, I'm going to pick up all my fingers. Sorry, no hints on that. In this society. And again, I have to pick them all up to drop that E. Nine candles brighter than the sun. Now that stop gives you just enough time to pick up your, pick, your kazoo. That's assuming you don't have a clarinetist. If you do have a clarinetist, then use your clarinetist instead because that would be awesome. Now, the, the last thing that I did 
there were two lines that the strumming on that if you can get a soloist to play any kind of lead whether it's kazoo clarinet saxophone harmonica anything that's great for four lines of your stand standard right but then after those four lines uh there's two lines of percussion and so here's how I did this. Now you notice they, there's different sounds along your ukulele, right? You've got, you've got different positions that have different sounds and I'm using the, my fingernails on the back to give that kind of a snare sound, right? I mean, it doesn't really sound like a snare, but at least it doesn't sound like a bass drum. So that's what I'm doing. So you can do, again, I'm just, just with one finger even, you can do a pretty solid bass if you land flat like that. But so I'm doing, and then, that's it, all right. Uh, so I'll tell you what now, I'm gonna stop talking at you. I'm gonna go slow motion, close up on my chord change in hand, at least most of the time. From the intro, <clears throat> from the from the intro through the chorus, but then I'm going to pretend that that's the second chorus, and I'll go straight from the chorus to the bridge, and the interlude with the the drum percussion. Here we go now. Uh, I'll try to do it so you can see both hands. Remember odd position for my left hand here to start out the song. I have all the time in the world for that. And get your kazoo in the right position so you can grab that in a quick quick shot. Okay, here goes now. Slow motion. Five, six, seven, and... Whoa, I'm 
that's it. See you Wednesday. Bye.